we're all hungry. Oh, look at the babies. Uh, they must be hungry or something. Uh, they, they really like all. Around. Well, they don't normally all come running up like that. You're all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're all doing their business. I know. It's okay. See, I'm not. Oh, hi, that, that's baby. That's what that one did to me when I was on my bike. <laughs> That must be mama. Oh, oh, oh. Pumpkin wants to see. What is that? <laughs> you want me to go pet the... Oh, the Pumpkin's baby. growling. Pumpkin's like, uh... Okay, you're you're growling. Here, take her. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right, we're going to go because boys. she's... They're, they're just not happy. <laughs> I've just not really ever heard them grunt and groan like that, but they got that baby there. <laughs> Cute. All right. Homeward we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, those buffalo, <laughs> they're so cute, that baby. It's just uh, sweet. Anyways, I am prepping my uh, celery here. I'm going to make some uh, spaghetti sauce, homemade spaghetti sauce. Uh, a little bit of homemade spaghetti sauce. I am going to cheat just a little bit, but I got to get all my veggies prepped and get them on the stove because it needs to sit for about four or five hours. And then I'm going to be putting it into a spaghetti pie. All right, I'm going to get my mushrooms out. This is uh, how I've been storing my mushrooms lately, just under a paper towel in a container. I went ahead and washed my mushrooms. Uh, these are about a week and a half old. Usually in this refrigerator they get a little uh, condensation on them and then they don't look good after about a week. So I think this is uh, definitely the way to store my mushrooms. I rinse them off, dry them out on the counter, and then put them in here, cover them up. Um, I leave this, this is my cabbage back here, it's a little wilted on top, but if I leave that top layer on, then my cabbage seems to be doing better as well. So, anyways, I'm going to do, I'm going to do three of my mushrooms, because I do have, uh, another recipe I need to use the other three for. i got a leftover little piece of, um, red pepper. I do have another red pepper. i got a squash, and... I'm going to get, uh, I think I'll do two carrots and an onion. I've got uh, a little over a half an onion. It's going to work perfect. I think I'm going to do a medium pan. All right, I got my celery all chopped up. I'm sure. Most of you know how to make spaghetti sauce. Uh, I am going to be adding just a can of um, the cheapest uh, spaghetti sauce I can find, which is, uh, I forget what the name brand is. I use it all the time, darn it. But uh, I use it as a base. So you'll see that in a minute. All right, now I am going to be using this pepper for uh, one, two, I think two, I gotta think now. Oh, two more meals, so I don't want to use, that's about right. So every time I buy vegetables, I really try to make sure that uh, I'm buying something that I can use at least more than once uh, in a dish. So, you know, peppers are pretty big, so if I can get two, if I can use it in two different meals or three, then that works for me. You know, same with my mushrooms. If I, you know, you get a package of mushrooms, uh, you kind of count out how many you think you'll put in a dish, and that kind of tells you, you know, how many meals you can use it for. And then I kind of, um, kind of make my meals around that so that I'm utilizing all my vegetables and I'm not having to buy multiple uh, other items. I do that with almost all of my uh, things that I buy. Um, pasta, I usually will only use half a bag of the spaghetti noodles. Um, and actually, I have this will be the first time I've actually bought spaghetti noodles in a while. I have been using 
fettuccine. It's a bigger pasta and I just like the flavor of it in spaghetti sauce and you don't have to use as much. You can use half of a box because it's bigger but it costs the same as spaghetti so One more. That's going to work out perfect for size. Super hot here today. Um, it's in the 80s, I believe. Uh, and there's usually a wind here. There's not much wind here today. So this is not the best day to be making something while I'm uh, letting it simmer on the stove. But we have all the windows open, so it'll be fine. They're going to love it, the chickens. Just going to dice this up small. So some people are going to say, well, this isn't spaghetti sauce because I'm putting the carrots in there. All right. Uh, Scotty's off working today. It's Saturday, so I'm not... Not sure when you guys will see this video because the last video uh, when we went driving up the road that actually we had started that here trying to upload it um, and it had up uploaded from uh, 11 o'clock in the morning and then when Scotty got home uh, oh, I don't even know what time it was four o'clock or something we ended up going up there and trying to get better internet which we did we had to sit up at that store for over an hour I think so uh, I'm not sure when you guys will see this video it just depends on uh, if I can get it uploaded fast today or not Aja has given me the password to the other internet but for some reason it's not it's just not doing very well for me so Everybody else seems to have good internet out here. I, however, do not. So I think what I was telling you guys, Scotty's out doing a job. It's Saturday. He got a side job other than the job that he's been doing working over in the Eco Village uh, farm. Uh, just trying to make a little extra money while we're here. Everything is just, you know, so expensive. Uh, Y'all know. Just go to the grocery store and put diesel in the truck is outrageous. Somebody said something about uh, they didn't really like the channel anymore because we're not traveling. But, you know, like Sky said, it's just too expensive to travel right now. So. But that's why we're, uh, Scotty's doing a little extra. I'm doing a little extra uh, so that we can plump up our savings again. And... Uh, go do some traveling. We do have some thoughts of where we want to go. Some stuff off the bucket list that I was looking at the other day, but it's gonna it's gonna take a bit to save up. So for right now, this is what we're doing. I should have cut that a little different. <laughs> some people are not enjoying the uh, cooking either, but. I, you know, when we came back on, I said there was going to be some changes. <laughs> I like to cook, so you guys get to see what we like to do. I mean, that's, that's what we do. Scotty is actually, his, what he's doing today is he's digging a huge uh, round hole for a trampoline to go into. So it's, a, it's below ground or ground level. All right. Woo, that's a lot of veggie chopping. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save half this. Uh, I'm gonna put this in a salad. Let's save half of it. I really need a lot of it. Tons of veggies. This will cook down nice and small. I'm just going to cook this down till I start smelling the uh, garlic. Once I smell that garlic, I'll cook it down a little bit more 
and then uh, then I'll start adding the rest of my stuff. Oh, you guys, that to me is just a rainbow of good food. All right, guys, I just realized something. Okay, here's my spaghetti. I usually add Hunt's pasta sauce. I'm kind of debating because I have these petite dice with garlic and olive oil. I don't mind having oil if it's in something. I just don't buy it. Um, and then I have some leftover sauce from pizza the other night. Kind of wonder if I want to do that. Save this uh, for something else. I'm not sure. I got to think on that one. All right. I decided I'm going to save my tomatoes because I'm going to use those for a different meal. This, however, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. I, this is the cheapest you can find. A lot of times, they, they used to be 99 cents. They are, however, not that uh, cheap anymore. All right. I am going to put a few seasonings in here. I'm going to do thyme. Do some sweet paprika. It's all to taste. I don't have any uh, Italian seasoning. However, I do have some basil, which is super good in spaghetti. And some Mrs. Dash no salt. Salt free. Moisture sure. Worcestershire, sure. Worcestershire, sure. <laughs> uh, now, I'll tell you, my pantries are very, very low. I do have some this. I'll put just a little, little. That's it. Not much of that. Can't go wrong using uh, using canned spaghetti sauce uh, for a base. Okay, this butter. <laughs> That, I do that because my dad was a huge butter fan, and I don't know, I've I've always done that, so I always, always like a little butter in my sauce. I'm just going to cook this down. I'm going to go get cleaned up. Scotty will be home in a little bit, and then this evening, I'll show you guys how I put this all together. All right, I'm going to share something with you guys about these uh, RV stoves. Uh... There is a high, medium, low. So if you're trying to simmer something on a very low setting like I'm going to do with this, you want to put it most likely on your back burner, whether you'll have to decide which one is which. This one for me uh, seems to be the lowest that I can get it to simmer. This front one, if I try to simmer, it will boil and boil and boil. So. I always go to the back burner, but just remember that there are different settings usually on RV stove. Yeah, this turned out super good. Uh, it cooked about six hours. As soon as my pasta is cooked up, I'm not going to cook it al dente, but I am going to cook it uh, firm, so about 11 minutes. If I was going to leave it al dente to cook it in the oven into a pasta, I'd need a little bit more liquid in here. I don't want to add any more liquid. Uh, I might add a little bit of pasta water to it, but I don't want to um, dilute the uh, flavor of the sauce. This is just a, ha uh, a little over a half of a package of uh, spaghetti noodles. I think it's, I think my package was like 18, or I'm sorry, 16 ounces. But my pan is not big enough to do a full recipe, uh, which would take two eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I think I'm going to just do one egg because I don't have as many noodles. So we're going to put one egg back. Scotty is uh, home from work, from digging today. Digging me some holes. Oh, yeah. Well, a hole, right? Two holes. <laughs> a hole. Did you dig an a hole? <laughs> You're like two holes. Oh, two. And eight and a half feet in diameter, three feet deep. So I'm exhausted. Four. Trampolines to sit in, <laughs> and then you can bounce on the trampoline. That way, if you fall off, you're right on the ground. And also, for uh, 
gazing at the stars is what I was told. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that does sound cool. Maybe we need to dig a hole here and get a trampoline and have our own gazing. I know, trampoline. right? And that's for the company is called. I looked at the sign. Was it? Uh, it said, "Welcome to bus glamping." Bus right glamping. Out, is bus, that what it was? bus glamping. Yeah. There are two buses right outside of. Uh, Right out, uh, right, Ground, like, uh, Grand Junction yeah. on 180 down a little ways, yeah. yeah. If we get more so information about yeah. that, I'll, I'll put it in the description for you guys. Uh, the people Scotty was working for are super nice. I think it'd be pretty cool to have our own little bouncy <laughs> thing like that. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. But I wonder if snakes would get down below. Well, that's, that's what, what Aja and I were talking about. <laughs> we're not sure. We're not sure about have to that. open up and look down. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. If you guys have a built-in trampoline system, yeah. tell us in the comments below Absolutely, how it yeah. is, how it works. All right. And Can, uh, you're killing some flies over here, I see. <laughs> I, I am. I They're am. bad here today. Super bad. All right. And, and it's hot. We had to have the door open, so. Yeah. I am uh, going to get dinner going here. I'm yeah. ready to eat. Look at that. Magic. Let's get you guys set up here. Uh, it's a little dark in here. Let me see if I can. I need some more light. My windows are super dirty. It's, it's just so windy out there. I know. You would think we oh, lived in the gosh. desert. You'd think, right? Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, not, I'm following some kind of a direction, but not really. I, you know, you know how I cook. Anyways, you know, I don't cook with oils, but I do have some Pam had for quite a while. I am going to... Woo, you can tell we're in high altitude. I'm just going to spray the pan just a little bit. Probably not the best uh, stuff to spray in there, but that's what I got. So that's what we're getting. All right. Set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and do one egg. And... friend of ours, Paul. Um, some of you guys might know him. Red Trekker Paul. Uh, he brought her over some little steak bits. Oh boy. She got a new best friend. Alright. I just wanted to break that up a little bit. Alright. I'm going to mix that into my spaghetti. Now, if I feel like I need to have one more egg, uh, most people were saying one egg for, uh, or two eggs for a 16 ounce package, or one egg for, you know, eight ounce. I have a little bit more than, a little bit more, but that's all right. I think we're, I think we're good to do. Uh, I hate making messes and dirtying things up, but... Sometimes you guys ask me how much something is. I don't know. I eyeball everything. All right. It's about a cup. Oh, a little cup, maybe. I'm just, uh, just going to mix it up real good. Aja actually makes such a good baked spaghetti. Um, super love her baked spaghetti. I do not know how she makes it, though. I've never... I uh, really asked her, and I never watched her put hers together. It's really good. So it might be a little different than this. I know she's got a video on that, so you can go check out Pandemonium. Let's see. I always have her link. Uh, if we're filming on the property, I always have her link down in the description, you guys. Just to be, you know, courteous about that. It is her property and we appreciate it. Alright, something you're going to see in here that I didn't show you before. Now, I put butter in here. I did show you guys I put a little piece of butter in there because I love butter in my sauce. However, I'll get a spoon here. I wanted a little bit of uh, butter in here. 
but my butter was uh, not melted. So, what's the difference? I just want the butter flavor. Even though I had uh, butter already. So I just took about a tablespoon, three slices of butter, real thin pieces, and let them melt in here. So my sauce is just going to be a little bit more buttery. That's all. Pumpkin, do not burn your nose. It won't hurt. I think a lot of people just mix their sauce and all their stuff together. Uh, I'm going to layer mine kind of like I would a lasagna. I got a great deal on mozzarella. It's uh, two for, well, you buy you can buy up to two of them. It was just a really good deal. So I bought two of them, and I have one in the freezer. If you don't like shredded cheese, go shred your own. It doesn't bother me. Some people don't like it because of what they put on it. Doesn't it doesn't bother you if they shred It doesn't bother me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can shred their own cheese. Shred away. That's right. I'm going to use shredded right now. Well, I, I, I should have put that cheese on top. I'm I'm kind of tired actually, so I'm kind of. It's super hot here, you guys, today. Like I said this morning, and it has just gotten hotter. And my stove was, uh, you know, going all all morning. Six hours, I think, is what I cooked the sauce for. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese on there. Still kind of frozen. Now don't forget, I've got Parmesan in here, like that. Whoa, wish I had ricotta. No, that might be a little too much. So you can do it any way you want mix your spaghetti all up at once and then put it in there with your egg and your cheese. I just felt like doing it this way. That way I know how much uh, sauce I need and how much not to put in there. That way if I have extra sauce I can uh, use it on something else. And I'm kind of pushing it into the spaghetti. That way it gets kind of down into the noodles. Scotty, do you find on hotter days uh, it's a little harder to breathe in the altitude? I feel like today, maybe it's the air quality. I don't know. There are some uh, there are some fires, but I don't know. It seems like today's been a little harder to breathe. What do you think? Um, well, I was sitting on the tractor most of the day, so oh. it looked <laughs> like I was breaking a sweat. Other yeah. than breaking a sweat because the sun beat me. We're in uh, yeah. dust, though, huh? It, it's you feel the six thousand feet now and then, definitely. Yeah. I think I'm gonna grab some of the other cheese that I have. I've got one more bake, but I want to save that for pizza. Uh, yeah, I will definitely have to put a pan down under this one. Now listen, if you're cooking in an RV oven, try to find yourself a baking stone. Uh, I got mine from Pampered Chefs years ago. Um, you can find them at the store these days. Go on, You can go online and just uh, look up brick stones for uh, RV ovens or ovens. I'll show you when I open it up. Most of you guys know what I'm talking about. So, some recipes say don't put this on till last, but in the RV oven, things don't cook the same way, so I just go ahead and put it on. If it gets too, starts to get too brown, I'll put a piece of, uh, uh, I'll have to put uh, parchment on it because I don't have any foil. We're out of a lot of things. That's one thing about being way out here, you go to the store and you forget, and even though I have a list, uh, 
forget certain things. It's not like you can just run to the store. I guess you could, but it's about, <laughs> to run to Flagstaff, it's about $40 for us. And to go to Williams, about, what do you think it costs? About $20? Um, 20 something? Correct. Yeah. Twice as far. Yeah. All right, let me show you my stone. And I'm going to let this oven warm up. Now, my stove's probably dirty, but, uh, well, the stone is, you can't clean these. Don't don't try to clean them. They, you can't even scrub them clean. You can get the gunk off of them, but not not the stains. Anyways, that's a, that's a baking stone. That prevents things from burning, so got to get one. You can use... Uh, non-glazed terracotta. I did have four of those in my other uh, camper oven, but they, they've they broken over the years, so. All right, I'm gonna wait for that to go in. I'll show you guys when it comes out. Ooh. All right, so that's Lord. <laughs> gonna put a real quick salad together, some cucumber, put up, uh, uh, I think I'll just do a half of a tomato. I'm not making a huge salad. Scotty's already had salad for lunch. Save that for another day. Remember I saved that zucchini and I had some, uh, I cut up some onion there while I had the onion out. I knew I was going to put that in a salad. Last night we had taco salad. So there's beans, there's some, uh, so there's no meat in here, but there is some uh, taco seasoning in there that you can see. That's going in there, that's my salad. That uses up the salad. Scotty had some of it for lunch, like I said. And it was still as good. But I didn't want to throw it away, so it in there with some fresher things. I think I'll throw a little bit of parm in there. And then when the uh, spaghetti is ready, uh, I do have bread too. I have French loaf uh, bread. I, I think we're just going to cut that up and I don't think I'm going to make any toast. If I do make French uh, garlic toast. I'm just going to put in the George Foreman, so not a big deal. Anyways, I think that's it. I don't even think I'm going to cut up any more lettuce. I just want to use this up, but I don't want to make so much that we don't use it up. It's got enough lettuce in there, and like I said, Scotty already had salad for the day, so uh, that's got some good yummies in it. Alright, done with that. That was simple. Great way to use your leftover salad. Stand back! Keep clear! <laughs> <laughs> I am watching. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> Love that. Alright. 40 minutes. Alright, I think we're gonna pull it out. Let it sit for probably about 10 minutes. I've got some nice bubbling going on, which tells me that it's cooked down inside. Oh, yummy. What'd you say? So, what, I have to wait 10 minutes for it to cool down? <laughs> you do. I'm hungry. But as I was just saying, it has to congeal. It has to congeal. Okay. <laughs> congeal. It can, it can congeal in my belly. <laughs> no, it's got to congeal on okay. the counter. Okay, thank you. Toasting the bread, I just cut up a couple pieces for us, and we've got butter. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Oh, so good. I have to admit, I uh, tested it over here. Oh, look at that. Scotty, look at Yummy. Is it congealed? It's congealed. Oh, I'm ready to jump it. Oh, jumpy. yeah. That is wonderful. Look at that. Yum. Set up 
just like I wanted it. A little butter. Oh my baby, oh. that is so, I am such a lucky man. Such a lucky man. No, I should have uh, toasted the bread, but that's all right. It's so soft, it was uh, made yesterday. You made it off the bean? Is this dinner or at the table or you want to sit down tonight at the I think, couch? Um, honestly, I sit on the couch That's just because I'm It's very I'm hot tired. in here. Yes. It just feels better to sit where the windows are. Oh, thank you, Jerry, oh. so very much. Yeah? Okay? Yum, 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 yum. Okay. I'm going to see if Oz and Jeff and uh, Jimmy want some. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for the night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Dinner time. Food is so good. I'm <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and Scotty today. I know you hung out with me more than Scotty, but that's all right. Hey, I was kind of busy. And you were very now, busy, and you've been now working Now I'm busy doing off. this here. Oh. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for leaving comments and thumbs up. Have a wonderful night. Love y'all. Peace out. Go make yourself some spaghetti pie. Yeah!